Welcome to the Edge of Greatness podcast. The path to greatness is never linear and requires patience and consistency. Join us on our journey as we peel back the layers of success, searching for that elusive core. Each week, we will explore a different component of greatness, utilizing experts who have traveled some part of the path that we are all on. We aim to uncover insights into the areas of leadership, coaching, performance, overcoming failure, the power of habits, and so much more. We are all on the edge of greatness. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Edge of Greatness podcast. I'm your host, Charles Schultz, and today I am going to talk a little bit about the national championship basketball games. Both the men and the women's games have come to its end, and man, oh man, were there some awesome, epic performances. So what I first want to touch base on is if you didn't get a chance to watch the, the women's games, those were some heated contests, some back-and-forth competitions, and just some phenomenal basketball Definitely next year when it comes back around, you're going to want to tune in. That's some high-level basketball going on. The main focus tonight in this episode, what I really want to talk about, is the UCLA-Gonzaga game. I don't know if you watched it yet. If you haven't, tune into it. It's an epic contest and one that's going to go down in the, in the history books as one of the greatest games of all time. And what I have is a question for you, and it's one for you to think about. When you look at that game, when you look and play it back and you watch it, did UCLA lose that game or did Gonzaga win that game? Now, the initial question you're going to look at it and you're going to be like, well, I mean, the the answer is the same. It's yes and yes, right? They, They lost and Gonzaga won. But what I'm asking is when you look at the game and you have a performance like that and you have a game that's that highly contested, it's back and forth, there's going to be mistakes on both sides. You can't point it to one thing or another. I think that we get lost in these ideas that, well, if they would have made this free throw, or if they would have picked up this dribbler, or if they would have not had this foul here, or whatever it may be, there's going to always be the what-ifs, right? The one of a one-offs. We got to stop looking at the one-offs as the reason why something is an outcome, right? The outcome isn't one particular play. Now, granted, yes, there are times in sport when you're going to see a performance and you're going to go, okay, that one cost you. But in the grand scheme of things, there are definitely games where you lose because of your performance, and there's definitely games that you win because of your performance. But when you have an epic, tightly contested game, and it goes back and forth, and it's evenly matched throughout, there's not like this big momentum swing. It's not like when the Patriots came back on the Falcons and won the Super Bowl. Clearly, the Falcons lost that game. As much as the Patriots came back and won that game, the Falcons lost that game. They blew it. They had the lead. They were in the position to take it home, and then then they weren't. This game last night, to me, there was nothing, anything more, in my opinion, that UCLA could have done. I think they played the ultimate contest to the maximum of their abilities, and it was a beautiful game. It was back and forth. It was high energy. It was emotional. It was everything you could possibly want in a championship environment. And Gonzaga made one more shot. As a coach, when you're talking to your team after that game, you can't coach something that they could have done different. You just have to sit there and appreciate the effort and the energy and what they did in that moment. And if you're on the Gonzaga side, you go, man, I'm glad we made the last shot. That was an awesome game. Sometimes you just have to appreciate what you just witnessed. And that was a game where two teams competed with everything they had for an entire game And it was back and forth for all of it. Even the little runs were countered by other little runs. There were moments where uh, I believe it was in overtime where Gonzaga was up by five. And all of a sudden I'm like, well, I think that's about it. I don't know if they can come back. They're down by five with a minute left to go. And here we are, tie ball game with three seconds left to go. And here it is, half court shot ball game. I think our mindset has to shift. We have to look away from what we did wrong or what we did right and appreciate some of these little intricacies that happen in a game like that and focus on the competition. There's going to be mistakes no matter what you do. If you look hard enough, you can probably go through and go, well, if they would have done this, they would have won. Well, that's the, the beauty of a close game. 
You're right. Every single little mistake matters. But I think in that particular game, if you were to go back and count the mistakes on both sides, I'd almost imagine it was pretty even. And that's the part I want you to understand is, yes, while there was a mistake that, you know, if, if UCLA makes a free throw, they win the game. Or if they don't turn the ball over in a situation, they win the game. Or if even, I think somebody mentioned to me, pick up the dribbler as it's inbound so he can't dribble down the court. I don't know how many people were paying attention, but that ball went through the net and into play so fast that I don't know if you could actually say that they could have stopped the momentum of that play. It was extremely fast. Rebound, ball in the hoop, ball out of the hoop, down the court, buzzer beater, game over. So we can't, we got to stop looking at if we would have done this, then the outcome would be different. Because if that would have happened, it would have changed something else. You got to remember that. Like just because one moment happened that was negative, that next moment that happened for the other team that was positive wouldn't have been there. So they might have done something different. It's one of those things that you're going to have to learn to accept that when you play a sport, you'll never play perfect. Perfection is in, in unattainable. It's not going to happen. So stop chasing perfection. Stop looking at all the little things that went wrong when you lose and just focus on small little changes of getting better each time. In, in that particular game, it was amazing. I, and if you haven't watched it, I definitely recommend you go and watch it because it was a beautiful thing. And the competition level and the extreme heart that they put into that game, I, I won't ever forget watching that. I was on my feet. I was cheering for both teams. I thought it was incredibly just an epic performance. So let's start to look away from trying to nitpick little mistakes when an outcome doesn't go our way. We don't have control of an outcome. You can do everything possibly right and still not get the outcome you want. That's life. You can do it all perfect to the letter and still lose. That's just the world that we live in. And it's okay. The outcome doesn't define you. Trust your process. Develop your process. Continue to work every single day a little bit at a time and let the chips fall where they may. It's okay. We don't win all the time. Even Tom Brady loses. Right? He's considered the best at football. He loses. He didn't give up on his process when he lost. He didn't blame the moment when he lost. He got better each time. He worked on the whole approach. All right? Stop looking to one thing. Stop trying to define why an outcome happened. Accept the outcome. Continue to work. Get better. And good things will happen. That's all for today, guys. Again, keep reaching for the stars. Fall flat on your face, but remember, whenever you fall, always get up. Thank you for joining us today on the Edge of Greatness podcast. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and join us again next time as we continue to dig deeper into the key components of greatness. The path to greatness is never linear, so remember to keep pursuing greatness no matter what. Keep stretching your abilities, reach for the stars, and fall flat on your face. But no matter what happens, remember, whenever we fall, always get up. Until next time, I'm Charles Schultz, and this was the Edge of Greatness Podcast. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Please take a moment now to subscribe, rate, and review our show. We are all on the Edge of Greatness.